Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about everything that we know about GTA 6 so far. Obviously, just a couple of days ago, GTA 6 footage got leaked online by a hacker and since then, Rockstar also dropped their statement on this matter. And in this video, we will go through everything from the announcement of the game to today's date and all the things you got to know about the next GTA game. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. On February 4th, 2022, over on Twitter, Rockstar dropped a statement confirming that the next installment in GTA series development is underway. This was the first time Rockstar talked about GTA 6 and they said they want to deliver beyond what they have delivered with the previous installment of the game. They followed it up with another tweet where they said that they will share more information related to the game when they will be ready. In July, Rockstar Games said that they will stop supporting Red Dead Online so they can focus on GTA 6. Although they never officially said it, but the community speculated that Rockstar could also stop supporting GTA Online or even lower the content rate for the game to focus on GTA 6. The speculation comes after the recent GTA Online DLC, which did not add any new content to the game. The Criminal Enterprise DLC was all about the quality of life updates and it was about balancing the game. Rockstar also just recently updated the thank you page of GTA 5 where they added a credit section and put down all the thousands of developers names who have worked on GTA 5 and GTA Online over the years. But it looks like GTA Online will get supported by Rockstar for more years but there is a chance that they could lower the content for the game. Obviously, just recently, Rockstar bought back Franklin to GTA Online and there is also a rumor that Michael could come back to GTA Online with another DLC. And most importantly, Rockstar is still earning a lot from GTA Online. And just recently, Take 2 confirmed and said on their financial report that GTA 5 nearly reached 170 million units sold. And in the last three months, they have sold out another 5 million units. They also said that their new GTA Plus subscription has seen consistent growth since it launched and players on new gen consoles where that service is exclusively available are spending more money on microtransactions than those on previous generation machines. In the same financial report, Rockstar's parent company Take-Two CEO Strott Zelnick talked about GTA 6 and said that the next entry in the GTA series is well underway and Rockstar Games are determined that it will set the creative benchmark for the series, industry and for all entertainment just like the previous entries have done. On September 18, 2022, over on GTA forum, a user named Teapot Uber Hacker released 90 plus footage of GTA 6 which combines around 50 minutes worth of clips. And with this link, we got to know more about the next GTA game. Before that, there were many rumors related to the time frame of the next GTA game and many reports said that it could be set in the early 90s or early 20s and Rockstar could go back to the old school with the new GTA game, but the leaked footage is modern. And it's looked like that GTA 6 will be set in Vice City and the footage also revealed the protagonist of the game and it looks like there will be two playable characters, one male and one female. Just a couple of months ago, Bloomberg reported that GTA 6 will have a female protagonist for the first time in the series history and it will be a Latina woman. And guess what, the leaked footage, female protagonist is a Latina woman. And we also got the name for both characters. The male protagonist's name is Jason and the female protagonist's name is Luisia. In the footage, we also got a reference or callback to GTA 5 as Jason was talking to a character who was talking about Jay Norris, the GTA world of Mark Zuckerberg, whom Michael killed during the GTA 5 story. Now you can dock your life. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? We also got to see some action as both characters were robbing a food store. And the story is way bigger than the stores we've got in GTA 5. The food store is almost like San Andreas food store where CJ could go and eat and there are others who sat and ate their meal but it is bigger than the San Andreas one. There was a strip club clip as well and it looks way bigger and more advanced than GTA 5 one. 
The footage that got leaked looks like it's from early development as many of the NPCs don't have their texture done and the hacker did confirm that the footage is from 2019. Obviously since the footage got leaked, Take 2 is taking down as many videos as they can from the internet and also from the GTA forum the footage and links got deleted. After that the hacker again posted on GTA forum saying that he have more footage and he can post them and he stated that he has the source code for both GTA 5 and GTA 6. He then said that if anyone from Rockstar sees this post, they can contact him through telegram or email him from their company email as he wants to negotiate a deal. According to Tom Henderson, someone actually reached out to the hacker as GTA 6 developer and he again said that he got the source code for both GTA 5 and GTA 6. And after, there have been all sorts of chaos going on as there was a 100k Bitcoin transaction happened for GTA 5 source code. Although the hacker denied it and said that he did not sell any of the source code and someone got scammed by his name. And if anyone wants to know what is source code, it is like if anyone has this source code, they can develop cheats and hacks even before the game got released. So if anyone gets the source code, they can make cheats and hacks and when the game will release, they can release all the cheats and hacks immediately. And after the news broke out, the community had this one question that is Rockstar gonna delay the game for this. On 19th September, Rockstar dropped their official statement where they confirmed that they have suffered a network intrusion where a third party illegally downloaded some confidential information from their system. Rockstar also confirmed that the footage of GTA 6 that got leaked is true and it is from the early development stage. Rockstar also said that they are not going to delay any of their ongoing and long term projects because of that and they also said that they will introduce the game properly when it will be ready. So the big question is when we can expect to see something related to GTA 6 officially from Rockstar. Well Rockstar did announce the game back in February and there is a chance that by the end of this year we could see a teaser or trailer for GTA 6 from Rockstar. We have known this for a long time that GTA 6 has a release window of 2024 and 2025. Although Rockstar never confirmed that but it has been reported many times that GTA 6 will be out by 2024 and 2025. And if we see the pattern, GTA 5 was released 2 years after Rockstar showed a trailer for the game and Red Dead Redemption 2 was also released 2 years after Rockstar showed a trailer for the game. So there is a chance that after all the leaks we could see something related to GTA 6 officially from Rockstar later this year. This is all the stuff I've got for today's video. If you like this video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button for more gaming related content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, goodbye.